JJ and Mikey's families are going on vacation. But they need a hotel to sleep at. So whoever can build the most awesome one gets this pile of diamonds. But the loser has to eat a chest full of puffer fish. Oh my gosh, that's a huge pile of diamonds. Yep, Pip. And it can be all yours if we build the best hotel ever for JJ and Mikey. Oh, I don't want to build a hotel with you. Your hotels are always trash. What? Why do you think that? You're always the one that builds the newbie bases. Oh, Louie, your builds are always getting blown up or something happens to them. Oh, no, they don't. Anyways, I'm going to build the best hotel for JJ that you've ever seen. Then I'm going to get all of these diamonds and you'll have to eat all of these puffer fish. Ew, puffer fish. Those are disgusting. Yep, and if you don't want to eat them, you better get building your hotel. I'm going to start on mine right now. Mine's going to be way better than yours. Why do I doubt that, Pip? Look, I'm currently building a platform in the ocean because my hotel is going to be in the middle of the ocean. Really, my hotel is going to be made out of the best block in the game. Wait, what is that, Pip? Why are you building out of dirt? Well, why not, Louie? Isn't dirt the best block in the game? No. Oh, Pip, dirt is the worst block in the game. Why is your hotel shaped like an L? It's not shaped like an L, Louie. It's not shaped like you. What do you mean it's not shaped like me? I'm not shaped like an L. I'm shaped like a Louie. Louie, you're not shaped like an L. You are an L. What do you mean by that? I hope you don't mean something mean. Well, of course I don't, Louie. That's what the L in Louie stands for. Louie loser. Oh. You know what? I'll show you that I'm not a loser. Once you see this amazing amazing hotel build. And I'm going to speed up the building by using a pro world edit. And by using this wand of symmetry allows me to build super fast. Just watch this, guys. If I place a block right here, it also places one over there. It's going to be a real game changer. And if I go ahead and set it to octagonal mode, I should be able to build on all four sides at once. If I build over here, it also builds over there. So it's really useful for building things fast. Let me just fill in all these gaps, and boom! We have a square shape for our hotel to be on. Now, all I have to do is build up the shape of my hotel. And what do I want it to be built out of? Wait, I have a good idea. I'm going to build it out of this stripped oak wood so it looks nice on the edges. I'm also going to use some red wool because this is going to be a hotel for JJ. Then I'll use some red bricks and some red concrete. So let me get these together. And let's go ahead and build up the shape of my hotel. First of all, I don't want it to just be a square building. I want it to look really cool. So I'm adding this shape to it to make the frame of my hotel look awesome. Then I'm going to build the bottom out of bricks and leave a little space for the door. This wand of symmetry builds it on all sides though, which we don't want. So I'll get rid of it and build in these sections manually. That means I'll just do it without any building help. Now I can put my wand of symmetry back and keep building. Guys, I'm building my walls out of dirt and cobblestone. I think I'm going to do multiple floors on my hotel. Each different floor is made out of different blocks. You can see right here, this next floor is going to be made out of sandstone. As you can see, guys, I've built my bottom floor with these red bricks. But something's off. This build should not be able to float on the water. So I think I'll have my hotel have a basement that goes into the water. And that's where the rooms will be. So you can look out into the ocean. So let me go ahead and build the underside of this base. I'll do it out of stone bricks and some really cool cobblestone walls to make it look really epic underneath like some kind of battleship. As you can see, I'm building up this huge wall going all the way down into the ocean. This is where my rooms will be. And you know what? I'm going to break out some space for some windows. I'll do this right here and boom. We have one room underneath to look out into the ocean from. Let's go a few more blocks down so it reaches the bottom of the ocean. And that many blocks should be good enough. Let's just fill in all of these blocks now with stone bricks. Now I'm working on the pool of my hotel. The pool is going to be on the third floor. So when Mikey and JJ come out here, they'll have the whole ocean they can jump into. Just like this. Cannonball! 
All right, guys, so I went ahead and added all of these walls in. But now I'm going to add some windows onto this so that I can drain all of the water out of the inside with some sponges. Let me just get inside again, grab some sponges that I can drain this place with. And as you can see, when I put down these sponges, it places down a ton of them. And it also gets rid of all of this kelp. So I don't have to worry about all of this kelp being in my base. Let's just build all the way down with these sponges now and get rid of all of this water. Water. There's so much in here, but it won't be a problem because I just got rid of it all. And I could start clearing out this place to be an actual hotel. At least if JJ wants to stay in here, he won't drown anymore. There we go. Look at all of this space we've cleared out inside of our hotel. Let me go ahead and add a floor in. I think this room is going to definitely have to be JJ's room as it has red windows and looks really awesome down here inside of the ocean. Look, I can see all of those cute fish. But now I need to actually start working on the actual look of my hotel. After all, it doesn't even look like a hotel just yet. It just kind of looks like a house. So let's build it up a few more blocks into the sky. I'm going to make it get smaller as it goes into the sky. It's gonna look epic. But there we go. Look at that shape. Now let's just box it off at the top like this. To make it look more round. That's looking cool. Now let's build it up out of some bricks. And I'll add some concrete blocks as well. Well, just to add a little bit of extra detail. I'll have it go up next to the top where all of the framing blocks are to make it look just that little bit cooler. I think I'm going to build it underneath all of the frames as well just to make this thing look way better to JJ. Look, he's looking at it right now. I think he loves it. And in that case, let's keep building this thing up into the sky. I need to make sure this thing looks like a hotel. So we need a lot of windows just like a real hotel would have. So what color should I build these windows out? Of. Maybe you guys should comment down below to let me know. Let me just read these comments right now. And a lot of you are saying red. And a lot of you are saying yellow. You know what? I'll build it out of both. And maybe I'll add some green for Mikey. So let's get some yellow and some red. And then let's get some lime stained glass too. And here we go. We have green, yellow, and red. It's like the colors of traffic lights. But let's do a red room on the top up here. Let's do a yellow room one block below it. And then let's do a green room right here. <laughs> This hotel is looking really cool with those windows now. Let's split them off with some red concrete, though. Just to let people know that they are separate rooms. Just like this. But I wonder what Pip's up to and... Ew! What is this? What's wrong, Louie? Jealous? jealous would be an overstatement. This is such an ugly hotel. What's wrong, Louie? This is just the Pip Hotel 9000. The Pip Hotel 9000? Does that mean you built it 9000 times to get it to look like this? Yeah, Louie. How did you know? Because, Pip, you're such a noob that it would take you 9000 tries to make something this bad. Louie, if you think I'm a noob, how is this gravel floating? Oh, wait. That's actually a good point. How did you get this gravel to float? You'll never know, Louie, but I'm so cool I can just bend the laws of physics. Pip, I need to know how that works so I can do that in my builds for now. I can't dilly-dally. I need to build this hotel and make it way better than yours so I can win those diamonds. Oh, Louie, your hotel doesn't even look like a hotel. It looks like a furnace with all those bricks. What do you mean it looks like a furnace? It looks like a really cool hotel right now. Now. Well, Louis, I mean, it's all right, but I feel like it's missing something. Wait, uh, missing uh, what, Pip? I feel like if you added a bit more of this... Wait, wait, Pip, what are you doing? You're putting dirt on my base. I'm just making your hotel look better, Louie. Better? I don't know if dirt would make this hotel better, Pip. Well, it definitely wouldn't make it worse. Oh, it would make it worse. I'm looking at it right now. And if I added dirt to this thing, it would look terrible. But you know what, Pip? I don't have time to talk like this. I need to build this hotel and make it awesome. Because I just came up with a really good idea for what I can add. Let me just remove my wand of symmetry and come out with this oak wood like this. Now I'll use this quartz to make a little path in front of the hotel. You'll know what I'm doing in just a second, guys. But feel free to guess in the comments. And the comment that gets it right will get a heart from me. All right, here we go. We're almost there. I have a path here. Now it's time to add some stripped oak logs coming down on both sides. Do you guys know what it is yet? I certainly do. Here we go. I've added this shape and it kind of looks like a balcony. But now all I have to do is go ahead and add some bricks on the side like this. Then I can break a hole in this wall to make an entrance to 
this balcony area. If you guys guessed it was a balcony. Good job. But now from here, what I can do is add balconies to all of the rooms, which will make these rooms look a lot richer than Pip's hotel. Let me go ahead and just build them all the way out here. And then I can go ahead and add these plating walls to hold them onto the hotel. Boom. Now let's just build out a ton of these balconies. I'll do another one right here. I'm going to make sure these get a little smaller as they go further up. This is just so that it looks a little bit cooler. And it looks like it's like a pyramid going up that way. So let's go ahead and add some of these walls just to reinforce this area. And let's also add some of these walls so that nobody can fall off the side of the hotel. That would be the last thing we need to have. There we go. Now we'll just connect these walls up on this part of the hotel. And then we will build the final balcony just up here. If you guys think this build is going really well so far, make sure to comment down below. Also, like the video if you're really enjoying this. Wait, why are you asking them to like when they could be subscribing instead and watch all of our videos? Wait, that is a good point, Pip. If you're really enjoying this video right now, make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video from me and Pip. Don't forget to like either. Oh yeah, do that too. But now that these balconies are completed, I can start on some rooms in my hotel. So first of all, I definitely need the hotel lobby. This is where you can check into the hotel and get a room. So we need some sort of cash register right here so that people can come up to the table and ask for a room. So let's go ahead and get a PC because this is what we are going to be putting names down in so that people can stay in the rooms. Then I'm going to get a chest and put it behind the counter. This is where all of the money will and go because my hotel is super rich. We are going to put a ton of money inside of this chest. And because this hotel will be themed around JJ too, I'll make the floor inside of here out of red concrete. Now that I think of it, we also need an entrance. So I'm going to break a hole here and get a fence gate. This is what the workers can walk through to get behind the counter. Now that I've created the counter that people can book their rooms at, I also need to go ahead and make an area where they can store all of their items. So I need a zone inside of this hotel where I can put bags and I can put a bunch of coats too. So how about we make a coat hanger? I'll get some of these fence gates like this and I'll also get some tripwire hooks. These hooks will be what you can hang your coats off of. And these little fence gates will be what you can hang your bags from. Let me go ahead and just add some of these stripped oak logs to the bottom as well. Just to make these look a lot cooler. But now I need a place where I could store a bunch of items. So I'll go ahead and just make a bunch of chests going up the wall. You can put whatever items you need to leave at the bottom here. And the person running the counter will take care of them to make sure no thieves get inside. I have that area now for everybody to hang their coats, but all this building is making me hungry. And that just made me realize I could add a breakfast bar to this hotel. Mikey and JJ could both stay in here and have whatever meals they like. So let me just copy that red pattern from behind there. And just connect it up here. This will be where you can buy your food from. And let me just make this look really cool. I'll get some green banners and some white and some red ones. And now let me just put them all the way across like this. That's awesome. Now the cashier could be stood behind here. And it looks really cool with those banners on the front. What do you guys think? Comment down below if the banners are good. But since this is a breakfast bar, I need to make sure that whoever is running this place can also cook the food. So I also need a ton of furnaces. Not only just furnaces, some ovens too. This way, the food can actually be cooked. Now that I'm behind the bar though, there's not a lot of space. So I'll put some furnaces going up this wall and then I'll put some ovens going up this one. This way, you can make regular food in the oven and then some pizzas in the furnace. And just so that people know this is a food I'm bar, I'm going to go ahead and add a ton of pizzas on the front. That just looks epic. But now I've gone ahead and built this entire bottom floor. I think it's time to start building this next room up here. So let's go ahead and build the floor out of this red concrete. This room is going to be the second floor of my hotel. And I'm going to have a really cool arcade up here so that people can play whatever games they want. I don't think Pip will ever think of putting an arcade inside of his hotel. What do you guys think? Pip is such a noob though, right? Wait, I heard that. <laughs> No, you did, Pip. It doesn't matter. You already know that you're a noob, so I don't think you would argue very much Wait, with I'm me. I'm not a noob, and I know 
know it because my hotel is way better than yours. Oh, really? Let me see this thing. I don't know, Pip. Uh, this isn't looking very good. It will look good, trust me. It's just not finished uh -huh. yet. Uh-huh, not finished yet. How about you do some more work to the outside because I don't think anyone will want to stay in your hotel. It looks like it will just fall over. No, it's not going to fall over, Louie. We have the special door at the front of our hotel keeping it up. Oh, wait, special door? What are you talking about, Pip? I hope you know that that is literally a prison door. No, it's not. It's just an iron door. Yeah, it looks like an iron door. Why does it have a prison keyhole? And why does it look like bars? Why does it look like you're locking Mikey and JJ behind bars in your hotel? I'm not locking them in. That might actually be a really good idea. No, don't do that. No, I don't think I'm getting to no, you. No, you're not, Louie. Let me just close this door and bye-bye. Oh. You know what, Pip? If you want to make your hotel a prison, then so be but it. I'll be the one winning those diamonds. Oh, you'll be the one eating those puffer fish. No, I won't. Just you wait and see. Once we're finished with our hotel bills, we are going to rate them out of 10. Whoever gets the highest score wins, okay? I can't wait to get a 1 out of 10. Pip, one out of ten is the worst score. No, Louie. It means it's the number one out of ten. I don't know about that, Pip. But I don't have time to dawdle. I'm going to make an arcade with a ton of fun games up here. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me just get this sticky piston, some obsidian, and I'll get some of this reinforced blue ice. This is for a game I like to call Ski Ball. If I go ahead and place the ice down like this, and I throw a block across it, as you can see, it slides to the end. So this this lets me make a really cool game. I can put down a sticky piston right here with a slime block on it. And then I'll put some obsidian on the side. And now if I place some blocks on the side and some tripwire hooks, I can make this game work. So follow along if you want to build this yourself. I'll place these tripwire hooks across from each other like this. Then I'll place some string in the middle. Now, when I go ahead and throw a block across, it will activate the tripwire. All I have to do now is just activate the piston, which can be done easily by activating this this redstone dust. So if I put something on it, it'll send the block flying. Perfect. But the worst part is it breaks the tripwire hook. So I've got to fix this very quickly. Let me just get my tripwires, my string, then I'll place down the redstone. Let's see if this works now. Let me throw it and boom, it goes up. But it doesn't work very well. I need to add a little bit of delay with a redstone repeater. Now let's throw it and boom. It launches it up into the air. And I can now add what I want in this game. So what I'll do is I'll add some hopper. This one will give you one point. This one will give you two points. And this one all the way at the top will be the high score. So if I throw a block in and it launches all the way in, then I'll be able to reach the high score and win. This game is so cool. Oh my goodness, my hotel is so messy. Wait, what is that noise? Uh, Pip, why are you being so loud over there? I'm just vacuuming, Louie. Don't mind the noise. Uh, vacuuming? What do you mean? vacuuming. That's so loud, I can hear it from miles away. Wait, what? Yeah, Louie, I'm just vacuuming. There's some cobwebs on my floor. Um, Pip, why do you look so silly with that vacuum? Oh, I don't look silly, Louie. I'm cleaning up. You know what, Pip? Let me help you out. All right, let's do some more vacuuming. Uh, let me just do this area. And, oh, your face is looking awfully dirty. Let me just fix that. Oh, no, your face is looking dirty. Ew. All right, Pip, I'm done with vacuuming now. This is weird. Louie, you want to go to my penthouse? No, I don't want to go to your penthouse just yet. Save that until you show me around your hotel at the end. All right, Louie. When do we work on the trap? Pip, there are no zombies or anything attacking today. So we don't have to worry about traps. Okay, Louie, I'll go put a spike trap in the toilet. <laughs> what? Don't put... Oh, okay. Pip already walked away. I cannot convince him to do anything. Oh, I can't wait to poke people in their butts in the toilet. Wait, what? What did you just say? Well, nothing, Louie. Just with the spikes. Oh, with the spikes. For a second there, I thought you were actually poking people in the butt. Don't worry, Louie. I'll do that too. That's my second trap. <laughs> what? You know what? I'm just gonna keep working on my base. Pip is weird. All right, guys. Well, I've got one of my arcade games down. But now it's time for my favorite one. I'm going to get some netherite blocks. Just like this. And if you guys didn't know, netherite is the strongest block in the game. I'm going to build a 3x3 three three grid out of them like this. And the reason for this 
this is that I'm going to build a game of tic-tac-toe. If you guys didn't know what that is, you have to match three of your block to win. And if me and Pip have to play against each other, I'm definitely going to win every time. You know what? I'm going to get a chest. I'll get some red wool and I'll get some yellow wool. The red wool is for me and the yellow wool is for Pip. And all I have to do is match three in a row to win. And that is my second arcade game that we will be playing in my hotel. Now that I finish with my tic-tac-toe game, I'm going to start working on what happens on my balcony. And I definitely want to be able to have JJ and Mikey's family sunbathing up here. I'm going to put some deck chairs they can sunbathe on so they can get all of the sun rays from all the way over here. I'll do the same on the one above. And this one will be for Mikey's family. So I'll do it right here. So now we've got these deck chairs down. Let's also go ahead and just make some extra floors up here. This one is going to be Pip's room because it has yellow windows. And it's also kind of sad looking. I need to make sure that he has some space to get through to his deck chairs up here. So let's do this. And perfect. Wait a second. I just thought of something really cool. There is one thing that all hotels are missing. And that is an elevator. So I'm going to build one of those that takes Pip all the way to his floor. And then me all the way to my floor at the top. So let me just go ahead and make a hotel elevator. I'm going to put it right here. Let me just place some of these red blocks in. I'll get a piston extender like this. And I'll get a motor. All I have to do now is add this to a gear shift and we will be good to go. So to make this device, all I have to do is go down here and place down this sticky mechanical piston facing upwards. Now I have to count how many blocks high my hotel is. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And boom! This hotel is 24 blocks tall. So I need 24 piston extenders underneath this piston. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's count the other way. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. And now that I've got all these piston extenders placed in, I just have to attach it to a gear shift and a motor. And now the elevator should go all the way up like this and take you all the way to the top floor. It's super cool. I'm going to go ahead and use these redstone links now so that I can activate the elevator from wherever I am. So let me just turn that on here. And then I'm going to place one of these redstone links attached to this block here. This will activate the elevator and make it work whilst you're on it. So let me get some concrete blocks and attach them to this device. And then I'll get a lever attached to this too. Now when I press this lever, the elevator should come up to the top. Just like this. As you can see, it comes up. And then when I press the lever again, it should pull it all the way back down. So let's see. And uh, wait, why is it not working? It all broke? Are you kidding me? Oh, all right. I guess then I'll have to just build some ladders. Or maybe I can build something even more Fun. I'll add some emerald fans that send you up to your room. So let me just place them right here. Now if I walk on, it'll set me flying. And I can get some slime blocks to catch you when you fall down. So I'll put some right here. And for the other rooms, it won't matter. You can use the fans and have them blow you up here. So now let's go ahead and just build a floor for the final room of the hotel. Then I can add all of the decorations inside. This one underneath me is Pip's room. This one up here is my room. And this room at the top is going to be the most rich looking one in the hotel. Because I love being rich. And I also get a way better view than everybody else of uh, Pip's very bad hotel. But now that I've done my elevator and all of the floors, it's time to go ahead and build Pip's room. And obviously I know exactly what Pip likes. Just watch this, guys. I'm going to put some water in the corner of this room because Pip loves to take bird baths. Then I'm going to put his terrible little PC right here. So I'll give him this one right here and it looks kind of bad. There we go. But all I need now is a PC monitor. And I know how Pip likes to play Minecraft. For some reason, he likes to have his PC right in front of his monitor and he sits in front of it like here. I don't know why, but I think it makes it better somehow. Are you talking about how I play on my PC? Yeah, uh, of course I am. How are you playing on your PC today, oh, Pip? Well, I'm just playing upside down. What do you mean playing upside down? How are you playing upside down? I put the chair on the roof and then I flip the computer upside down. 
You know, sometimes I don't understand how you play this game at all. I think it's kind of impressive how you build a newbie hotel like this, even upside down. Yes, Louie, all that blood rushing to my brain really helps. Yeah, or all that blood rushing to your brain makes you trash in the game. <laughs> Anyways, Pip, I need to keep working on your room. What should I add to your room to make you like it? Well, Louie, I love my room. I usually have an armor stand with a sleepy girl costume on. Wait, an armor stand with a superhero costume. You know what? I'm stealing that idea. I'm going to put one right in this room. Do you like Supergirl? Yeah, Louie, I love Supergirl. All right, then I'm going to put some Supergirl armor right here. I think you're gonna love I it. I also love to have a TV with a farming channel on. Oh my gosh, I knew you were going to say that. You know what? I'll get you a yellow sofa and turn it onto the ghost hunting channel. What do you think of that? Louie, I don't like ghosts. Turn it to the farming channel. All right, it's on the farming channel channel. Oh, never mind, it switched over. You you missed your favorite show, Pip. Oh, well, it should be okay, Louie. The show is on every five minutes. Okay. Well, it'll come on eventually. And there we go. We have a TV, and I think everything is just about done. Pip's room is looking really cool. But now it's time to build my room. And I know exactly what I like. Let me get up there really quickly. And let's build my room. So first of all, I'm going to start with this stripped oak wood. I'm going to make a little arch going over this window. Then I'm going to get some bookshelves. And if you guys also like books, then make sure to comment down below what book is your favorite. My favorite book is the Spider-Man book. I absolutely love that one. So I think I'll also get an armor stand with some Spider-Man armor. Just so we know that this is a Spider-Man bookshelf. I have all of the comics. Now I cannot forget my own PC setup. So I'm going to put it over here. Let me get some red seats. A PC. And there we go. Let's put this thing down and... Whoa, look at this, guys. I have a rainbow PC. This is awesome. Do you have a rainbow PC? And if you don't, what are you watching this video on? I'm thinking your TV. So if it was on your TV, then make sure to like the video. There we go. I have my bookshelf, my PC set up. I have this little slime block trampoline. What should I put on that side? I think I'll put a TV of my own. I'm going to get a red sofa that curves all the way around like this. And then I'm going to get a TV. Put it right down there. And then also get this red TV stand. Boom! That looks amazing! This is the best room ever! And there we go, guys. We have not only my room, but everybody else's rooms. Wait, I completely forgot about JJ's. Let me build his just down here. I'll make a ladder going down into his room under the water. And now I need to build the biggest room ever for JJ. So what I'm going to do is add some smooth quartz blocks here. This is going to be where he can sleep with all of his family. So I'm going to get some red. And I'll place a ton of red beds right here. Let me just surround it with some smooth quartz slabs. So it looks just like this. The beds rise slightly over the slabs. So this looks really cool. Now we cannot forget that JJ absolutely loves books. Just like I do. So I'm also going to add a ton of bookshelves all behind this ladder right here and next to his bed. And there we go. Go. That's looking cool. Now, I need to add something for JJ. I would add his PC setup, but he's on vacation right now, so he's not recording any videos. So on this table right here, I think I'll add all of his favorite foods, which include steak, themed crabs, golden apples, and golden carrots. JJ absolutely loves all of these food items. Let me just put them all on this table right here. And good. Now JJ has an all-you-can-eat buffet right there. Now I just need to build up some walls around this thing to make it look a little bit cooler. And there we go. That is really awesome. Just so that JJ can go ahead and cook anything if he needs to, I'll go ahead and add two furnaces there too. And just for good measure, I'll put some quartz slabs down so he can really look at the food he's eating. Now, let me go ahead and add a sofa in. How could I ever forget that JJ would want a TV too? And the best part is, I'm going to put some slabs down too so he can sit down and stretch out his legs. It's like a reclining chair. And right at the end, I'll put a TV. That is awesome. And this side, I'm just going to leave completely empty. Because this is where JJ will be able to look out at the beautiful ocean life. This room.
room is complete and it looks awesome. JJ and Mikey are going to be so excited to come into this hotel. But how can JJ and Mikey have any fun? If there's nothing fun to do in my hotel. Wait a second. I think I just came up with a really good idea. I'm going to make an area just out of the back of my hotel. With some quartz blocks like this. And I'm going to make a really fun game. So I'll make a little boardwalk coming out like this. Let me go ahead and see if I can find the mod that I really like. And there it is. Now look at this, guys. I can add a speedboat, jet ski, some regular boats. I'll put down one of the speedboats. And maybe let's make that two. Then I'll add two jet skis and two regular boats. Isn't this awesome? Now I can go ahead and throw these out into the ocean like this so that I can drive them whenever I need to. I'll just throw them all right there. This is nice. And I'll throw these random boats just next to this area here. Now I have two big boats to carry four people, two jet skis, and two of these really awesome speed boats. All I have to do now is just fuel them up and we will be good to ride. I'm super excited to show this to Pit. He's going to love it. He absolutely loves water and he definitely will love being in the water on a jet ski. And there we go. We have the jet ski course. That just gave me an idea, guys. What fun is jet skis if you have nowhere to ride them? And that's why I'm going to go ahead and make a jet ski race course. Me and Pip to try and beat each other at. But I'm going to make some blocks that you have to go through in order to get to the end of the race. I'm going to have my jet ski race come around like this so that I can go around a bunch of scary corners. Let's go ahead and make it quite wide so that we have a few corners that we can turn around just like this. Look, this is coming along really well. I have this curve right here, this curve right here. Then I think I'm going to make it open up into a big circle that you'll have to go around a few times. So let me make one circle over this way and over this way. Now it's quite big in the middle of the ocean like this. And then what you're going to have to do is get to the end of this circle right here and realize there's an emerald fan underneath which will blow you up into the air. Hopefully to the next part of the jet ski course. So it'll take you right about here. And then all you have to do is go in a straight line. And then these emerald fans that blow you to the side. So if I'm on the jet ski, it'll send me all the way over here. And then from here, we have to go all the way back to the start. And whoever gets back first wins. So let me try this one out. I'll go down this one in the jet ski. So I'll go around this corner. Around this one. Around in a few circles like this. And then once I find out there's emerald fans on this thing, I'll drive straight at them and it'll launch me over the top. And, whoa, whoa, whoa! -ho! Then I'll land back under the water. Go back to the star. This race is so fun! Now that I've got all of my hotel rooms done, I think it's time to work on my penthouse suite. This is where Mikey and JJ stay because they're super rich. So right now I have this wall of yellow wool. Let's go ahead and make a door. And inside this door is one massive room. But it's a penthouse. So it's practically a house made out of a room. So first, we need to add Mikey and JJ's bed. Since Mikey is green, we need to get a green bed. And since JJ is red, we need to get a red bed. So let's go ahead and put their beds right here. And put chests next to their bed. Just in case they want to store something while they're sleeping. And then over here, in between these windows, we're going to put a massive TV. So Mikey and JJ can watch any TV show that they want. Just turn this on and put the farming channel. Anyways, let's go ahead and get a couch. And we're going to make this a massive couch. We're going to make this half green and half red. So we just need to put down the couch like this. And now half of the couch is red and the other half is green. Since this is both Mikey and JJ's bedroom. But it's not a penthouse. Without an epic bathroom. So let's go ahead and get a toilet. So Mikey and JJ can both use the bathroom. Put these right next to each other. Get some toilet paper. And we can't forget a shower. So let's go ahead and get a shower. And we'll place it right above our toilet. Just like this. And now Mikey and JJ can take a poop while taking a shower. It's called multitasking. And last but not least, I think we need to have a little kitchen right here in the corner. So let's go ahead and get some kitchen counters. Place those right here. And then we need a fridge. Because how are Mikey and JJ going to store their food if they don't have a fridge? And then we just need the kitchen necessities. Like a toaster, microwave, and we can't forget the stove. 
because Mikey and JJ don't want to eat microwave meals all day. They want to eat five-star meals from the stove. Now my penthouse is complete. We have bath, bathroom, and the entertainment. Oh, Louie's going to be so jealous. Now that I've got everything inside of my hotel, I kind of think I'm done. Pip, are you done by any chance? Yeah, Louie, I'm done. No way. Did we finish at the same time? I guess we did, Louie. All right, get over here, Pip. Because we are about to rate each other's hotels out of 10. Let's see who gets that pile of diamonds. All right, Louie. My hotel is absolutely going to blow your mind. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just keep yapping, Pip. Because this hotel is going to be the worst one I've ever seen, I bet. Well, make sure to go to survival mode, Louie. And we'll count how many times you die. Wait, how many times I die in your hotel? Yeah, Louie. I put a bunch of traps in it. So it's a survival hotel. I don't know how I feel about a survival hotel, but I guess we'll give it a go. Let's give this a shot. Come on in and let the fun begin. All right, I'm in. Where's the fun beginning? Well, it begins right here, Louie. Over here we have the lobby. See, if there's a lot of people in line, people need a place to sit. So wait for the receptionist to be ready. Wait, but Pip, you don't even have a receptionist. They'll be waiting there until they die. Let me go hire one real quick. Uh, wait, hire one? Well, where are you going to go? Yeah, Louie, let me go get the receptionist real quick. Quick, hold oh, on. Um, back okay. here. Come on, receptionist. Come out. Where are you going, Pip? Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the hotel. Who are you? Why are you called receptionist, not Pip? Well, I'm the receptionist, and I put not Pip, so you know I'm not Pip, because I'm the receptionist. I don't know about you, but you act very, very much like a uh, little duck I know. Well, I was just here to hire you for a receptionist, because it's time for me to leave. It's time for you to become the receptionist. Just, uh, I uh, thought take you were the stuff. receptionist. This stuff. Uh, good luck. Wait a second, you just took your outfit off! You're Pip! Oh my gosh. You know I'm what? gonna put on the receptionist costume. How do I look? Alright, guys, I guess I'm the receptionist for Pip's dumb hotel. And who is that? Wait, Mom? Louie! Oh, you finally got a job! I knew my son was worth something! Wait, Mom, why do you sound weird? I was just here to make sure my son wasn't a worthless brat noob like he always is! But I'm not a noob! Why does everybody think I'm a noob at this game? Anyway, Louie, my son, I see you work here. Can I get that penthouse? Yes, you can. Let me just see how much it costs. Okay, 500 seeds. Let me go behind the counter. All right, Mom, it's gonna cost you 500 schmeckles. Okay, I'll get 500 schmeckaroos. Well, it doesn't look like I have 500 seeds. Well, my son, I don't have any seeds. But I have some stairs in Mama's homemade cooking. For a free room? Seriously? You know what? If you give me that steak right now, I'll give you a free room, okay? All right, son. Here's some of my homemade cooking. Thank you. All right, you can have your free room now. Oh, Louie, I knew it. Wait, Mom, why do you sound like Pip? Because it's me, Pip. Wait, why were you acting like my mom? How did you know how she looked? Well, Louie, your mom makes me home-cooked meals every day. Wait, are you kidding me? I need to call my mom and tell her not to do that anymore. Maybe that's why you're so obsessed with hanging around me, because you want free cooking. Yeah, Louie, I don't care about your bills. I want some of that mama homemade cooking. Okay, that's the weirdest thing you've ever said in your life. You know what? Just show me around your hotel. This is getting a little freaky. Oh, yeah. I forgot I was showing you around my hotel. Well, Louie, if you turn around, this is our breakfast area. Wait, breakfast area? Okay, I see you have a toaster and a microwave. Why is there just a bunch of uncooked bacon in this shelf? And why have you got spikes in this one? Well, Louie, I tried to type sprinkles into my creative inventory, but those popped up. Pip, you can't put those on your guests' food. It'll kill them. Spikes are really dangerous. No, they're not, Louie. Watch, I'll show you. We just put the cake down, and then we just put some flavored sprinkles. Oh, you just put flavored sprinkles on Let it? Let me see this thing really quick. If I actually jump on the cake, will it hurt? And ow! Whoa! Yeah, Louie, it's really got some kick to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a dangerous, deadly kick. Get those sprinkles off this thing. Louis, stop being jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm just concerned for your guests. They might die. Wait a second, Pip. What's that over your shoulder? Louie, speaking of spikes, this is our one and only toilet in the entire hotel. Why did you say 
that after saying, speaking of spikes. Well, I don't know, Louie. How about you go poop in it and you'll see why. All right, so I'll get in the toilet. I'll just do my poopies. And, okay, now I need to flush it and... Ow! Ow! Wait, what? There's a spike trap in the toilet? There's not, Louie. What makes you think that? The fact that if I look into the toilet, I can literally see a death trap. What death trap? That, that, that one that was in the toilet. Wait, what toilet? Oh, Pip, stop lying to me. There's definitely a spike trap down there. Louie, why would I ever put a spike trap down here? Okay, you know what? Let's just keep moving. All right, Louie, let me show you my first floor. All right, let's see. You're showing me the upstairs of your hotel, but what is this? Why is there just a hole in the side of the staircase? Oh, this is a clear window, Louie. A clear window, but what if I slip out of well, it? Well, Louie, if you did that, that would be very impressive, but let's go up here. All right, let's see. So you have some rooms. Wait, so room three, two, and one. So, Louie, this is our first floor, and this is the pool room. Wait, pool room? Pip, I thought you were going to show me a really cool pool. Instead, you just showed me a hole into the ocean. Yeah, Louie, why would I get the water from the ocean and put it up here when we can just use the ocean? The ocean is a pretty big pool. Because it's such a high drop. And what if I jump in? I might be eaten by sharks. Oh, Louie, let's test it. Oh, wait. No, don't do it. Stop. Whoa! Okay. Uh, wait. If the shark's in the ocean, I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. That's what you get, Louie. Pip, I cannot believe you actually just threw me into the ocean with a bunch of sharks. This is so unsafe. Well, Louie, if you weren't running around the pool, maybe you wouldn't have slipped. I didn't slip. You pushed me. You know what? I don't care. I'm nice and calm. And you're going to put me into one of these hotel rooms, right? Yeah, take a chill pill, Louie, or I'll have to put you into a hospital of some sort. Wait, what? Are you threatening me? You know what? Let's just go into a room. Let's see here. Whoa, this is actually kind of cool. A TV a and toilet right next to a shower. Why is the shower next to the TV? TV. Wouldn't it break the TV? No, Louie. I put the shower above the toilet so people can do their business while showering. I see. What about these furnaces? Why would you need two furnaces if you already have a microwave? Well, Louie, maybe some really fat people want to make some big meals like you. I'm not fat. I'm actually relatively skinny. Pip, listen, I would never have more than two meals a day. Oh, maybe I should put more microwaves. Well, no, I don't want three meals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight meals. Meals. The more meals, the better. Oh, I guess so. Are the rest of your rooms the same? Oh. Let's see. This one has a painting. I mean, they're basically the same. Maybe like a couple different things. Yeah, I see. Some of them have different paintings. And Wait a second. These ones have beds inside of them, while this one over here doesn't. Oh, well, Louis, maybe I threw that out when I got really mad at you earlier. Oh, uh, okay. We've seen all of your rooms. What about the next floor? Oh, Louis, if you thought those rooms were good, you would love these rooms. Wait a second. There's just three more rooms made out of grass. Please don't tell me they look the same. Wait, what is this? And what is that? Oh, Louis, that's oh! my friend Sam the Spider. Pim, get this thing away from me. I can't spawn in unless it kills me. Ow. Oh, no. I spawned it again. It's going to take a lot of beating this thing up to kill it. It just keeps killing me. Come on, die, Spider. Die, Sam. You know what, Pip? I'm running for I'm gonna it. I'm going to shut the door behind me. Phew. Oh, you're right, Louis. We should check out the next room. Pip, why do you have my head on? Well, Louis, you died and lost your head, so what else were you going to do with your head? I don't know. I honestly don't know at this point, Pip. I can give you one if you want it. Let me try and put this head on and see what I look like. Oh, I just have a way bigger head. Yeah, Louie, more space to put that dumb brain of yours. Hey! You know what? I'm taking it off. But anyways, Pip, you showed me room two. Show me room three. They all look the same. There's just toilets on beds again. A big open hole in the side of the wall. Oh, wait, I forgot to put the windows. Oh, wait, my what? Bad. Wait, Pip, no. Ah, wait, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Pip, let me back in right now. Fine, Louie. Just come on this side and let me just mine these blocks. Oh, all right, let me get back in. And why didn't you just break the window? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Let's go to your next floor. Yeah, Louie, glass is expensive, so I'm not breaking that. All right, follow me. Let's get to that next floor. And Whoa, is this the penthouse? Yep, Louie, this is for the rich people, so not you. Yeah, I hope my mom isn't in here. Well, you never know, Louie. She likes coming over. Wait, what? My mom likes coming over to your hotel? You know what? I'm really sad. Why do you like my mom so much, Pip? Well, she looks just like you. Um, what do you mean by that, Pip? Well, she looks like you if you were cute. Oh, I see. Wait, are you not calling me cute? Why, why am I not cute? I'm adorable. Oh, Louie, you'd only have a face that your mother would love. And I know that because I asked her. What? Did she say she liked me at least? No. Oh. Anyways, Louie, stop talking 
about your mom. Let's look at Mikey and JJ's penthouse suite. All right, let's take a look. So we have a nice sofa. In front of a TV. And then, whoa! They have their own kitchen in here. They have a sink with some taps. And they also have a toaster. And a microwave. It even has a refrigerator. Yeah, well, these penthouses for rich people only. So the rich people get their own fridge. Uh, that's kind of crazy, Piss. Is that your entire base? Well, yeah, Louis, but don't you want to check out the bathroom in the corner? I mean, I've seen a lot of bathrooms in your base, and I've seen a lot of bedrooms. All right, Louis, that is my hotel. Your hotel could never top this. Oh, yeah? Well, let's go over there right now, and you are going to have your socks blown off, or uh, whatever you have on your feet. My webs. Your webs. Okay, come on. But anyways, Pip, come over here. You're about to see my hotel and... Oh, wait a second. That didn't look like my hotel, and why is there a massive hole in it? Olivia, I don't know what you're talking about. That, that looks like your hotel. There's literally a massive hole in the side of it. What happened on the inside? Oh, I'm sorry, Olivia. Somewhere. What? Poop? Did you poop a meteorite? Well, it's been a while since I've pooped, so might as well be. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let me just show you around the hotel that is left. Come on, follow me. Can I be in survival mode, Louie? Oh, um, there's trash. Well, you can go into survival mode. My hotel is very, very safe. All right, Louie. I'm inside your hotel now. Is this Italy right here? No, Pip. This is not Italy. Even though it does have the colors. <laughs> no, it's Mikey and JJ's color, and then a nice white color in the middle. Oh, Louis, if it's not Italy, why is there a bunch of pizza? You know what? It's an Italian pizza place. I didn't think of that on the spot. Louis, I love Italian pizza. Let me eat some of this. All right, Pip, you have some of that. And while you're eating, we can go to my next room. Do you want to go down or up? Louis, how about we go down? Because nothing dangerous ever happens going down. All right, well, follow me. And this is JJ's penthouse. But it's not really a penthouse because it's underneath, so it's in the basement. It's a base house. Oh, Louie, this is a really cool room. Yep, I know it is, Pip, because I built it myself. Just take a look. We have a sofa with a TV, big triple-sized bed, some bookshelves, and an all-you-can-eat food buffet. Whoa, Louie, an Italian restaurant and a buffet? No wonder you're so fat. What? What do you mean I'm fat? Have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? Wait, let me look at myself, guys. All right, and wait a second. Why am I so fat? What? Oh, you, Louis, maybe you shouldn't add restaurants on every single floor. Oh, I mean, you're not wrong. I do like to eat. You know what, Pip? I'll work it off eventually. Listen, let's go to my second floor. Wait a second. I think I'm too fat to get through. Pip, you might need to push me off. Oh, off. gosh, Louie, get up. <laughs> uh, thanks, Pip. All right, let's go to my next floor. This is where the meteorite landed. All right, Louie, what are we supposed to do in the half broken room? Well, there were some games and it seems like they're all broken now. But I can actually repair them. If I just go into creative mode and get some tripwire, I can make these games work once again. So let's get some string and let's fix this game right here. Let me just do this and this should work just fine. All right, Pip, look, I'm going to give you some snowballs. You have a few chances to win at Ski Ball. All right, Louie, I love Ski Pizza. Ski Pizza? Don't you mean Skibbity? What? Whoa! Oh, wait, oh, you almost got a point there, Pip. Sadly, the pizza landed on the slime. Well, I need to get my pizza back and wait. What is happening? Whoa, Pip, did you just get launched onto the ski ball machine? Does that count as a point? I guess it does. You know what? Let me give this a shot. Here we go. I'm going to throw this string and woohoo! Oh, I got I it. Get a point. Pip, you're not supposed to catch it. Well, what was I supposed to do there, Louie? I don't know. I think this game might be a bust. The meteor destroyed it. But it's fine. I guess we can play tic-tac-toe. Let me just put the item frames back. And I'll also get the yellow and red wool because the chest is gone as well. All right, Pip. Here you go. There's your yellow wool. And we are going to play a game of tic-tac-toe to see who wins. All right, Louie. Since I'm the guest in this hotel, I think I should go first. All right. Whatever you say, Pip. Go ahead. Place down your selection. I'll put one in the top right like that. Okay, that seems like a pretty good move. It opens you up to a lot of winning strategies, but not as many as my method. I'm gonna place one right here. Louis, it looks like you already lost. What do you mean I already lost? We've only placed two blocks. Sure, Louis, if I put a block right here, you're trapped. 
I don't know about that, Pip. I'll just put one right here. And then I could win. No, you can't. Louie, just watch this. No, this is bad. You know what? I'll put one here. I'll block you off again. Oh, you're not going to block me off this time. Oh, yes, I am. Pip, you've absolutely messed yourself up here. You have two going this way and two oh, going this way. Oh, Ooh. no, no, no. I want to change my selection. I put there. I can't believe you actually just lost. Like, seriously? You put yours there. You could have won, but you chose not to. Finally, I'll put it back where it was. All right. And you know what? I think we drew. There's no way any of us could win now. Oh, Louie, forget this game. All right, fine. Listen, my hotel has been absolutely destroyed, but there's one more thing that can't have been destroyed in this place. I want you to follow me behind the hotel, What's Pip. over here, Louie? It is a jet ski race. <gasps> and we get to have a little bit of fun. I love jet skis. Can I say your jet ski? Nope. This is a one-seater, Pip. Hop in yours. And oh let's do my. this. All right, so just line up next to me, Pip. And we will go in three, two, one. Go! Ladies first. Wait, what do you mean ladies first? You're gonna lose if you let me go first, Pip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, these boats are really fast. No, I'm wait, not. Pip, how did you just fly away? No. Whoa, this boat is really bouncy. Wait, Pip, how are you doing that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, I just flew away. Oh, no, I'm gonna land in the water and... Whoa, you know what, Pip? I think this race doesn't really make much sense. But I can get back to the stars, which means I won. That's not fair, Louie. You made such a confusing race. I didn't even know where the finish line was. Oh, I'm sorry, Pip. I just didn't know that race would be confusing. I should have made it more obvious. But let's go back to the middle and vote whose base was better. All right, Louie. I think that's a pretty easy question. All right, just get over here. And let's find out. So I'll be honest, your base was really really, really interesting, and it was very funny. So, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, honestly. A 17 out of 10? No, 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 a 7 out of 10. If I get lower than a 7 out of 10, you win. Well, Louie, I feel like your base could have been good, but there is no base. Yeah, it did get hit by a meteorite. You know what? I'll accept whatever you voted, Pip. I think I'm going to vote a 6.9 out of 10. 6.9? That means you win by by points one. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've ever won. No way. Good job, Pip. You won this massive pile of diamonds. Let's go. Yeah, Louie, you know what puffer fish tastes like. Oh no. All right, Pip, I'll give it a try. Oh, ew, it's disgusting. It, why does it make my vision go all weird? I'm not sure, Louie. Maybe you should uh, drink some water. Oh. I'm gonna go drink some water right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go home! Yeah! Wait, Pip, where are you going?